Hello students and welcome to today's lecture in which we will talk about jasmonic acid, its discovery, chemical nature that is basic structure, some bioassays and its physiological role. So our objectives are to study the plant hormone that is jasmonic acid, to provide a brief history of its discovery, to understand importance of jasmonic acid in the plant growth and regulation, to know about its chemical structure and bioassay, to provide a detailed information about important physiological roles played by jasmonic acid. Let me give a brief introduction. In nature, apart from plant hormones, auxins, gibberlins, cytokinins, ethylene and abscisic acid, there are other substances also which behave as hormones. These substances have growth, stress or defense related activities. Among these, jasmonic acid, which is widely distributed in plants, plays a significant role in plant growth regulation and defense. Jasmonates are active at small concentrations, occur naturally in small amounts and have pleiotropic effects and hence are now regarded as plant hormones. With other plant hormones, jasmonates act as an important orchestrators of the plant immune system. Jasmonic acid signaling is required for plant resistance to harmful organisms such as necrotrophic pathogens and herbivore insects. It cross communicates in an antagonistic or synergistic manner with other plant hormones providing the plant with the powerful capability to defend itself from pathogens and insects. Furthermore, jasmonic acid signaling is essential in interaction of the plants with beneficial microbes that induce systemic resistance against pathogens and insects. Now let us go through the discovery of jasmonic acid. In 1980s, plant physiologists found that essential oil of some fragrant plants like jasmine, rosemary and of many other plants possess the activity of retarding the growth of root and chelioptiles and promote leaf senescence. This led to the search of the active component in the essential oil responsible for such activities. Finally, the isolation of methyl jasmonate from jasmine oil obtained from the jasminium grandiforum led to the discovery of the jasmonic acid and its derivatives. Jasmonic acid was first isolated from cultures of the fungus Lecidio diploidea theobromia. Nowadays, it has been established that jasmonic acid and its derivatives occur throughout the plant kingdom. They have been recorded by the radioimmunoassay in more than 160 families of angiosperms and gymnosperms with highest concentration in young growing tissue. They have also been found in green and red algae and in several fungi. Now its chemical structure. Jasmonic acid and its derivatives are oxylipins which means these are derivatives of oxygenated fatty acids. Chemically, jasmonic acid and its methyl ester, methyl jasmonate, are fatty acid derived cyclopentanones synthesized from linolenic acid by octadecanoid pathway in the chloroplast membrane. Numerous derivatives of jasmonic acid are found in plants including hydrooxylated forms such as tuberonic acid and cucurbic acid and amino acid conjugates. Their structure is similar to mammalian eicosanoids which are also derived from the lipids through the action of lipooxygenase. The chemical formula of jasmonic acid is C12H18O3. Now let me briefly explain some of the bioassays used for quantification of jasmonic acid. The role of jasmonic acid could be clarified by accurate and precise determination of its levels under known physiological conditions. Several methods have been used to estimate jasmonic acid levels in plant tissues. Initially, quantification was performed by using bioassays based on jasmonic acid's inhibitory properties. 
senescence promotion and seedling growth inhibition. More recently, radioimmunoassay has also been used to determine jasmonic acid levels. HPLC assay based on the coupling of jasmonic acid with a fluorescent hydrazide giving a stable fluorescent product has been also exploited. Although there are many such methods available for the quantification of jasmonic acid and related compounds but oat leaf bioassay is the most commonly used probably because of its simple procedure, a good reliability and being cost effective. Another commonly used bioassay is seedling bioassay. First, the oat leaf bioassay. Since jasmonic acid has senescence promoting activity and therefore by exploiting this very property, the compound can be detected readily. A senescence based bioassay was given by Shibauka and Thyman in 1970. The assay is still widely used but with slight modifications. To take up the assay, oat seeds are used which are germinated in vermiculite under continuous white fluorescent light at 25 degrees Celsius for 7 days. 10 upper 3 cm leaf segments of first formed leaves are excised. These 10 segments are placed on moist filter paper with 5 ml of test solution in petroplate and incubated for 3 days at 25 degrees Celsius in dark. Test compounds, jasmonates, are dissolved in M. sylvane citrate phosphate buffer solution diluted 1 is to 10 ratio pH 4.7 that contains M. benzyl adenine and 0.2% tween 20. Remaining chlorophyll is extracted from the segment twice with boiling in 80% ethanol. Determination of the amount of chlorophyll is done from the absorbance at 665 nanometers. The threshold concentration for detection of jasmonic acid is approximately 1 microgram per 5 ml test solution. Next is seedling bioassay. Jasmonic acid was isolated as a plant growth inhibitor from the pericarp of broad beans. This inhibitory activity of jasmonic acid was used to design its method of quantification and was determined by the same wheat seedling assay which had been earlier established as a bioassay for gibberlins. However, the authors did not describe the threshold concentration of jasmonic acid for the detection by this assay method. For this assay, wheat seeds are germinated for 3 days at 20 degrees Celsius in the dark. Five seedlings are taken and transferred to a test tube that contains 1 ml of test solution. These are grown under a photo period of 16 hours of light and 8 hours of darkness. After 5 days length of the seedlings are measured. The concentration of jasmonic acid will be directly proportional to the extent of inhibition in seedling length. Now let us understand physiological role of jasmonic acid. It has now been established that jasmonic acid and its methyl ester methyl jasmonate together referred as jasmonates are key regulators in the development, physiology and defense of plants. Jasmonic acid accomplishes unique roles in plant developmental processes and defense. It has been shown to regulate flower development, embryogenesis, seed germination, fruit ripening and leaf senescence. Interestingly, jasmonic acid also accumulates when plants are subjected to UV light or elevated temperature underscoring the central role of jasmonic acid in the deterrence of both biotic and abiotic cues. Induced defense responses by jasmonates. One of the significant factors determining plant growth and reproduction is defense. A defended plant can withstand pathogens and herbivores. Plants have developed an impressive array of immune and defense responses in their cells. The success of plant defense strategies is based upon their ability to recognize specific pests, 
promote signal transduction and induce defense rapidly. A major signaling pathway involved in most plant defenses against insect attack is the octadecanoid pathway, which leads to the production of jasmonic acid. Production of jasmonic acid is triggered by a series of events which are wounded leaves, that is damaged by herbivores, synthesize procystamine, a large precursor protein. Procystamine is proteolytically processed to produce a short polypeptide, 18 amino acid long called cystamine. Cystamine is then released from the damaged cells into the apoplast of phloem parenchyma. In the adjacent tissue, companion cells, cystamine binds to a cell surface receptor at the plasma membrane. The binding of the cystamine to its receptor initiates intracellular signaling processes that result in the activation of jasmonic acid biosynthesis and accumulation. Jasmonic acid is then transported through the phloem to other parts of the plant. In target tissues, Jasmonic acid activates the expression of genes that encode protease inhibitors that interfere with the herbivore's digestion process. For example, some legume upon jasmonic acid signaling synthesize alpha amylase inhibitors that block the action of the starch digesting enzyme alpha amylase. Other plants produce lactins, which are defensive proteins and bind to carbohydrates or carbohydrate-containing proteins. After ingestion by the herbivore, lactin bind to the epithelial cell lining the digestive tract and interfere with nutrient absorption. The best known anti-digestive proteins activated are protease inhibitors. These block the action of proteolytic enzymes. After entering the herbivore's digestive tract, they hinder the digestion process by binding tightly and specifically to the active site of proteolytic enzymes, such as trypsin and chemotrypsin. Insects that feed on plants containing protease inhibitors suffer reduced rates of growth and development. Another mechanism by which jasmonic acid helps in plant defense is via higher expression of proteins required for secondary metabolite synthesis. This role was suggested when low concentrations of jasmonate were found to induce genes encoding enzymes involved in flavonoid biosynthesis, chalcone synthase and phenylalanine ammonia lyase sesquiterpenoid biosynthesis, hydroxymethylglutaryl CoA reductase, theonin antifungal protein, and osmotin antifungal protein. Secondary metabolites play a role in defending plants against a variety of herbivores and pathogenic microbes. Furthermore, jasmonic acid treatment or strong jasmonic acid signaling pathway in strawberry fruit make the fruit resistant against Botrytis cinerea. Jasmonates have also a role in plant defense against environmental stress. The application of jasmonate decreased low temperature injuries such as splitting and spotting in apple fruit. Ultraviolet radiations or water stress induced endogenous jasmonate synthesis in apple seedlings and one-year-old citrus tree respectively has been reported. Role of jasmonic acid in senescence. Senescence, the cessation of growth in cells, organs or the whole plant is a highly regulated developmental process affected by environmental factors. Elementary to most senescence processes is the plant hormone ethylene, a small gaseous molecule critical to diverse processes throughout the life of the plant. The role of jasmonic acid in the recent past has been also proven as a key player in the control of senescence. In fact, one of the first reports of jasmonic acid as a hormone was the identification of methyl jasmonate as the senescence promoting substance in wormwood. The regulatory network of ethylene and jasmonic acid involves the integration of transcription factors 
microRNAs and other hormones. Studies in Arabidopsis indicate that jasmonic acid is associated with the timing of senescence programs in both somatic tissues and reproductive organs. At concentrations greater than 50 micromolar, jasmonates have been found to induce senescence in plant cell cultures and excised leaves. The senescence response include the loss of chlorophyll degradation of chloroplast proteins such as ribulose, bisphosphate, carboxylase and accumulation of new proteins. Jasmonic acid represses synthesis of photosynthetic proteins, both nuclear and plastids. Under the control of jasmonic acid, genes encoding the large subunit of Rubisco, that is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase or oxygenase, is impaired. This leads to a rapid cessation of Rubisco protein synthesis and causes a drastic drop of photosynthesis and carbon dioxide fixation rates. Jasmonic acid also induces leaf senescence by the breakdown of chlorophyll molecules. It involves the selective destabilization of the major light harvesting chlorophyll A, B binding protein complexes associated with photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Chlorophyll breakdown is also associated by the fastened expression of chlorophyllase enzyme induced by jasmonic acid and its derivatives. Also, nuclear genes encoding photosynthetic proteins are rapidly switched off by jasmonic acid, although most of their respective mRNAs remain abundant and functional as shown by northern hybridization and translation experiments in wheat germ extracts, they are no longer translated into proteins. This can be attributed to the fact that methyl jasmonate leads to the rapid dissociation of ATS ribosomes into their subunits and hence impairing formation of proteins. Role of jasmonic acid in tuber formation Jasmonic acid and its methyl ester have been proven to be strong tuber inducing compounds. In potato, Jasmonic acid has proven strong promoter of stolen tuberization. Number of tubers induced per stolen tuberization rate and final tuber way were also enhanced by the application of jasmonic acid. Recently, tuberonic acid, a glycon of a potato tuber inducing substance, is isolated from potato leaves, which has been found to be closely related to jasmonic acid. Jasmonates promote synthesis of vegetative storage proteins in vegetative parts of the plant. These proteins are synthesized when nutrient supply exceeds their demand for growth and subsequently are utilized either in the seed development or for the formation of storage organs like tuber, bulbs, etc. Jasmonic acid induces coiling of tendrils. A coiling inducing factor was isolated from the tendrils of Bryonia dioia and identified by infrared nuclear magnetic resonance and mass spectrometry as alpha linolenic acid, which is a precursor of jasmonates. Further, investigations showed that metabolites of alpha linolenic acid, that is, jasmonic acid and methyl jasmonate, are highly effective inducers of tendril coiling. However, methyl jasmonate proved more effective. It suggests that methyl jasmonate could be one of the endogenous chemical signals produced in mechanically stimulated parts of tendrils and being highly volatile acts as a diffusible gaseous mediator spreading through the intracellular spaces to trigger free coiling of tendrils. In grape wine, it has been observed that jasmonates induce tendril coiling even without any mechanical stimuli upon exogenous jasmonic acid application. Now, role of jasmonic acid in fruit ripening. Fruit ripening is a complex process that is regulated by a signal network. 
It has been found that jasmonic acid plays an important role in grapefruit coloring and softening by increasing the transcription levels of several ripening related genes, the colored related genes, softening related genes and aroma related genes. It also leads to enhancement in the fruit anthocyanin, phenol, aroma content and causes fruit softening. Now role of jasmonic acid in root growth inhibition. Jasmonic acid induces root growth inhibition by stimulating auxin biosynthesis. Auxins are responsible for root growth inhibition. Jasmonates also lead to the expression of those genes which otherwise maintain merismatic activity in roots. However, this is not true for all the plants. For example, in Arabidopsis, there is no effect of jasmonic acid on the root growth. Role of jasmonic acid in trichrome development. Trichomes are fine outgrowths or appendages on the plant surface. Plants may use trichomes in order to deter herbivore attacks via physical or chemical means. It has been found that jasmonic acid or methyl jasmonate mimics the effect of wounding and induces increased trichomes, suggesting the involvement of jasmonate signaling in the trichome development and hence defense. Now, role of jasmonic acid in flower and fruit development. Jasmonic acid plays a very important role in the flower development. In tomato mutants, which were insensitive to jasmonic acids, flowers were very small and remained in bud condition even at maturity. Also, in rice, spike development in fluorescence was found to be regulated directly by jasmonic acid. In tomato, fruit development was found to be regulated by jasmonic acid. Plants deficient in jasmonic acid or insensitive to it developed fruits smaller in size and also were seedless. Further, the role of jasmonic acid in stomatal closure. Although abscisic acid is best known stress hormone that closes the stomata, but jasmonic acid has also proven effective for the same. It has been found that nitric oxide signaling interacts with jasmonic acid signaling and induces the stomatal closure. Role of jasmonic acid signaling in regulating phloem flo cell wall in growth development. Phloem cells adjacent to seed elements can possess wall invaginations. In Arabidopsis, treatment with methyl jasmonate in low light increased phloem cell in growths in phloem parenchymon cells while as jasmonate deficient Arabidopsis mutant resulted in significantly less wall in growth. The result suggested that chloroplast oxidative status via chloroplast derived jasmonates may modulate phloem structure and function. Drought stress promotes xylem differentiation by modulating the interaction between cytokinin and jasmonic acid. Drought stress provokes jasmonic acid signaling which mediates plant stress responses. Moreover, growing number of evidences suggest that jasmonic acid is involved in modulation of root development under drought stress. Recently, it has been found that jasmonic acid promotes differentiation of xylem from procambial cells in Arabidopsis roots. Further, molecular and genetic approaches revealed that the effect of jasmonic acid on xylem development is caused by suppression of cytokinin responses. It suggests that jasmonic acid antagonistically interacts with cytokinin to modulate xylem development. Now jasmonic acid helps to release seed dormancy in some species. Seeds of Acer tataricum are characterized by deep physiological dormancy which can be overcome by cold stratification. However, it was found that jasmonic acid is able to substitute for cold stratification in the species and is able to induce germination, suggesting role of jasmonic acid. Now, diverse functions of jasmonic acid in rice. In rice, 
Jasmonic acid has proven an effective regulator of some important growth and developmental processes, both positively and negatively. For example, it inhibits seed germination, shoot growth, and root growth of the rice plant, while as it promotes spike development, enhances senescence in the plant. Also, it helps the plant to develop resistance against various stress like herbivory, drought, and flooding. Now, let us sum it up. Plants lack an immune system, like in animals, but possess mechanism that recognizes potential pathogens and initiates defense responses. During biochemical evolution, the plants are devised with certain magic molecules of defense like jasmonic acid. Jasmonates, first isolated from jasmine oil obtained from the jasminium grandiforum, are active at small concentrations, occur naturally in small amounts, and have pelotropic effects, and hence are now regarded as plant hormones. Jasmonic acid and its derivatives are oxylipins, which means these are derivatives of oxygenated fatty acids. Chemically, jasmonic acid and its methyl ester, methyl jasmonate, are fatty acid-derived cyclopentanones synthesized from linolenic acid by octadecanoid pathway in the chloroplast membrane. The role of jasmonic acid could be clarified by accurate and precise determination of its levels under known physiological conditions. Several bioassays have been used to estimate jasmonic acid levels in plant tissues. Example, oat leaf bioassay. Jasmonic acid plays a key regulatory role in various growth and developmental processes of the plant like plant defense, senescence, fruit ripening, tendril coiling, tuberization, trichome development, xylem differentiation, phloem development, flower development, stomatal closure, etc. Recent insights into jasmonic acid-mediated plant defense cascade and better knowledge of key regulation of plant growth and developmental processes will help us to design future crops with increased stress resistance and better adaptability under changing climate and herbivore pressure. In future, there is need to obtain higher crop yields to fulfill demands of increasing population. It might be achieved by increasing pathogen insect resistance by manipulating the expression of key genes involved in jasmonic acid biosynthesis and signaling cascade. This was all about the topic. Hope you have followed it well. Thank you.